Hey guys, this is Todd Hazelton from Techno Buffalo checking out the brand new Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. That is a mouthful. Uh, you can see it's similar to the Galaxy Note 5, and in fact, it packs the same specs. So the same Exynos processor, the same 4 gigs of RAM, the same 5.7 inch Quad HD display. Uh, you're getting 518 pixels per inch there. You do, however, lack that S Pen on the bottom. So you're looking at a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, USB, that's 2.0. Uh, and then you have the speaker right there. On the left, the volume controls within easy reach at all times. You can see with my thumb. On the top, nada. On the back, it's a 16 megapixel camera, and you've got the, uh, I believe that's the same sensor that we saw in the Galaxy S6, so we already know it's a, a really sweet camera. Glass back panel here, glass front panel. You've got the metal running along all sides, so it feels and looks super premium. Now Samsung's targeting this at the folks uh, who are going to do a lot of multimedia, so a lot of you know video viewing and photo viewing and all kinds of stuff like that, uh, and it's pretty brilliant. So I was just going through this earlier. Um, you know, they always show the weirdest things in these videos. There's a lobster and a spoon with oil, but it looks great. So you can expect that uh, with all of your videos. Now here's the new thing. It's this slide out feature here. Um, we've seen it before, but now instead of just contacts, you can have apps. So you can have your frequently used apps. I added Instagram so you can quickly jump in there. Um, and you can also uh, move around and, and tweak this. Yeah, so here you see the edge lighting is on, people edge is on, apps edge is on, information stream is on. So you can get all through uh, your apps, your notifications, your updates, all kinds of stuff like that. There's not much going on here. So that's the big thing there, the edge, and of course the screen. But otherwise, it's really similar to what we saw uh, with the Galaxy S6 Edge. It's just plus, the plus size, much bigger and uh, has the faster processor. Now, one of the things that I think kind of gets to me is it's 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of storage. There's no 128 gigabyte option this time around. Um, and I feel like multimedia people are probably gonna kind of want that option. Uh, and we had it with the Galaxy S6 Edge. But otherwise, it does have all kinds of nice features like uh, Qi and PMA quick charging, uh, that th large 3000 milliamp hour battery that charges just as quick as the Galaxy S6 did. Um, with the quick charge through here on the bottom and uh, other niceties like Samsung Pay and the fingerprint reader in the home button. In any case, just wanted to show you a quick look here at the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. This is Todd Hazelton from Techno Buffalo.